I'm going to do a uh, yoga movement called titled Power Yoga Workout Grace by led by Michelle Goldstein. The audio this audio will be in the video and I will the video will be me doing this doing the class. Um, I asked to see if I could figure out why I had a little bit of a headache and I'm going to find out that the class what the, the, doing this class is what I need to get rid of my headache. I've asked, I've, I've asked Jesus, I've asked God to tell me through dawn, what do I need to do to get rid of my headache? I asked you what you need. And uh, so I'm going to do this because I'm all dressed to do it. And I'm going to make this video. I'm going to make this video of me doing it. Let's see how. And um, just, I don't think there's any reason why I can't do the whole thing. I did the whole thing. She shouldn't have to, and then maybe she would. Like I didn't know what faith, and I and without faith I couldn't tell where someone's reaction was. She's going to be upset. She's going for the you, Cleo. We're going to be talking to you through Dawn, um, and, and, and Pam too, because she knows you, and uh, Michelle because she knows you too, because you obviously recognize her. But um, you know, through all of you. Um, and thus, and thus, Andy and Ford Cameron too, because. To, yeah, yeah. I should make a connection to Pam. To, you, you got a connection to, to Angie, okay? Okay, and Dawn does too, okay? Okay, you have a connection to Angie, okay? A very misogynistic spirit. She's also getting that from me. You know, she's, she's, um, this is why I needed to get like this. They need to be sheep. It's like you treat, it's like Don treat, it, it, I feel it looks like Don turned me into a sim. I mean, I don't know what drove me to do this. Well, actually, I do. Don's spirit drove me to get like this, make a video like this, looking like this, 
my body being a shapely she turned me into a sim she had the spirit to make me into a sim a sim and I keep looking down at the mod she had the spirit to turn me into a sim I'm just like here I am in this kind of thing which I just bought for no real reason I know reason I bought in dressing like this but she, I just wanted to do this and um, it's like she turned me into a sim <laughs> that's amazing you just stare at me, and I'm having fun doing it too. We wanted to play Sims together. We are playing Sims together. We always wanted to play Sims. It's like you're trying to make someone to play Sims, and you're playing life like Sims. That's what you want to do. So what you did was you shoved up the um, <laughs> you shoved out the, the that one sec of Sims of the. Um, It was like, or like I do Sim City. You got rid of that one thing that was, that was like, my, my spirit to play Sims, your spirit to play Sims, and my, my spirit to play Sim City. That was today with me de decorating my workplace and also getting this place around here, done that kind of thing, and even me working my body. And you were like Sims, but my character was starting to, like, well, you see, your Sims, your, I was starting to, to uh, Looked like probably saw she probably saw her Sims characters getting in fair. You must have you you saw your Sims characters getting in affairs with your Sims other characters, and you thought like I was gonna like they were gonna take me away from you, like your Sims was gonna be taken away from you, like your boy, like somebody's gonna take your Sims boyfriend away from you, or your Sims husband away from you. <laughs> it's amazing. That's how you saw it. Okay. Wow. Well, so you got me in, so you wanted to be, so you wanted to, uh, well, it seems what it was, because that was my, um, that was like my, um, that was my grandma appearing as a yoga instructor. That was my grandma, that was grandma, see, Lauren was Grandma Lake, Evelyn, my God, that is the, this is what I was able to do, this, this, I'm just saying that, the, uh, oh, here we go. I'll take a picture of it so that I can, so, because I can always do that kind of stuff like this, you see? I can take a picture of this. And, okay, there's the thing, okay, there it is. And I got a picture, and um, that's um, going to be that, that uh, steak that I made that one time. This, and it's like, see, I, it was, I just, Learned, I just felt like to do this. It's just logic made. It's like all this stuff. See this, this, see this is this, see this. Well, she made me into a sim. And she wanted to be a sim who took care of the household. She wanted to be a, but she, she wanted to be, she wanted to be the woman of a house. She wanted to be the mother of a household. And I wanted to be the city planner out there building the city around her, you know? And that's why I got people, that's why I got Lynx, I mean, frick Llewellyn's. No, it's not the Lynx, it's Llewellyn's got the Carpenters. That's what, that's what I tell, that's all the Carpenter about. Like, I was Sim City. It was the Llewellyn's that gave me Sim City with Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs. That's what that is, Lincoln Logs. Okay, Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln, Lincoln Road, Lincoln, Lincoln Avenue, that's what it is, I think. But anyway. I should do I should do this class, okay. But that's good. That was a good little boring. That was a good little good little red talking around. Okay. Now here's this class. Hi everybody. This is Michelle Goldstein, and this practice is about grace and embodying grace. So another key component in the alchemy of the heart. So grace is really, it's the ability to completely merge with life. It's oh an effortlessness, even within the effort that we apply and to become graceful is to completely align with everything everywhere. So really learning to go with the flow as it were. So go ahead and come to child's pose to start. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta remember. Sit your hips back on your heels. I have to pause this for a minute because. So to embody 
I love being see this is see, this is one of the things. This is why I'm sure Dawn must have really hated the fact that I was in that yoga class. Or must have hated what she felt when I got home because I felt when I heard this, it was just some women tell this this the, the way these poses, this the way this felt mo motions were, it was just so much, I, I just can't, couldn't believe that I was going through this experience with, um, with, I'm sorry, very women in, in this erotic field. It felt like I was, it felt like I was, you know, having sex with a room full of women. And it really felt like to me that I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't, but it felt like that. And she must have felt like I felt like I was doing that. That's why. This is what this feels. That's what it felt like. And if, um. No, I'm not going But this is the spirit that shared that every, when, when I, I mean, this is necessarily goes to this individual. But this, but this is this, this is what I believe. This is what I believe. I should put this light up on top of here. And then I should, I'm going to back it up a little bit, back up the video. I'm going to put the cross and I'm going to put my, um, and then I probably see. I think I might be able to, I, no, I think what I'll do, what I'll do is, Let's see. Let me turn this up a little bit, if I think. The camera. Bring the camera up just a little bit. Okay. There we go. I think that I think that's what I need. Um, this is, and then I can bring this up a little bit. I think this is the deal. I don't like this. I know I got some cords on the. Okay. Okay. Well, gotta be careful. I got some like phone charging cords and stuff, assorted electronic equipment on the, you know, charging, electrical charging cords on the floor that kind of get in the way, but uh, I don't like the way that looks right now, but, uh, but, uh, it's, it's, it's been, uh, it, there's no reason I can't, just, you know, I can just make any videos, there's no reason I have to go, you know, the production value. This is the way. And I'm sorry, uh, all right, I mean, it's all right, I don't regret, so it's just like I understand. Uh, Tom and Tom and Pam are gonna see me. As, as see the digit, digitization. Digitalization is something that took her, that took her daughter, as that took their daughter, took their daughter from them. And there's no way. Regardless, it took them, Regardless of what it caused, that's what it did. And I, that's what it did. And regardless of what how good, what resulted from it. Um, and I'm gonna have to uh, bring that down a little bit again. Um. Um. My mother's parents, uh, Stone had just appeared on there. Yeah, those problems exactly what the problem was. Okay. the links okay yeah but it was it's interesting I gotta find out why the links were willing to uh, dispose of what remains of them so callously why? Okay. There's one. What does it mean? What 
what is with the apparent irreverence? What is with the apparent irreverence of the Lynx family bearing, disposing of their remains so inappropriately? And why did Don, Don told me this? They never told me. They wanted to keep everybody away from there. Let me do this class and we'll figure out. Let, let's listen to them during, during, during the class. Let me go to these first. But okay. Well, I didn't really mean this to be a prayer. I don't. I don't think. I don't think this is a level that I needed a prayer. But I think I'm going to just do, do the class and see if I can. I feel like. And here's Don going. A picture of Don going to the sunset. Um, I might want to I just get this class going now that we got the technicalities all taken care of. Although I should go pee for a minute again. I think I keep needing to do that. I just take a, like, take a sip of water and then go pee and then I'll get started. I haven't taken anything like ibuprofen. I'm trying to see if not doing that. It's been, there's a reason why I'm not doing that. Um, Catholic mother, if you're an Eastside Columbus Catholic mother and you need something done in a jiffy, 
Get grab your Bexley Jew. It's just funny. I hope. It's, I mean, I mean, that's gonna I mean, that's the, the pattern that's going on. I mean, the spirit goes on. It, 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 that's just a, done in a humorous way. I, hope that, I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't know if it's particularly how we're going to think but maybe it maybe it was it was like a mock the whole thing. Gonna make fun of it. But that's the thing. That's just the pattern of the. Um, but like this, just the thing. The Catholic, the um, like the Catholics of uh, the east side of the clump. The, the really the cat, the east Eastern European, like east side of Columbus and uh, Whitehall as well. I mean, it's not just Columbus. Whitehall is like this. I think that gets kind of Macedon. Well, that Eastern Orthodox Macedonia. Okay, they're, they're, that's why I said I was they used to say back when I noticed that a lot of Macedonians. In uh, in Whitehall, every time I went to Whitehall, it was a Macedonian. There's that there was that chick at um, at um, when I worked at Franklin in 1995. I worked in a, 1993. I worked as a temp job at downtown uh, or not like just south. It was just south of the brewery district. Like you know, the Franklin County Children's Services micro filming stuff. I mean, my God, they were still using that shoot that stuff back then in 1993. And it was just before the. But it was just, but I was talking with this woman who was a relatively conservative politically woman. I think she was a, was she a brown-eyed redhead? I think she may have been a brown-eyed redhead, okay? She must have been something like, uh, God, her name was Bush. That's her, Kate Bush, no, Karen Bush. That was her name, and she was my parents' age. She was some kind of a, so if she's a brown-eyed redhead, or a green-eyed redhead, if I'm mistaken for a brown-eyed redhead, then that would have been somebody from my grandmother. <sighs> uh -huh. So, okay, well, okay, that's it. Okay, I gotta interpret eye colors and stuff like that, what they mean to me. Okay. Okay. Let's go and do this. And within the effort that we apply and to become graceful is to completely align with everything everywhere. And so really learning to go with the flow as it were. So go ahead and come to child's pose to start. And sit your hips back on your heels. So to embody grace, is to let go of any resistance, any resistance that we have. Just to allow the breath to flow freely. I think I need to turn this down a little bit. Allow the breath to flow freely and deeply out of your nose. They come up to all fours, hands and knees. So on an inhale, drop your belly, arch your back to cow pose. And as you exhale, round through your spine to cat. As you inhale, arch your back to cow pose. Good, exhale, round into cat. One more time, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round into cat pose. Good, inhale to neutral. And exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips and press back to downward facing dog pose. So take a moment to establish the foundation of your posture in down dog, that's your hands and your feet. So you root all the corners of the hands and the feet Spread the toes and the fingers. And deep breath within your efforts, you find an effortlessness. So to embody grace as you move through your practice. I think I think I want to try this with that other one. This this one. And worker. set your knees down on your mat, please. Extend your right leg straight back. I was doing before. Warrior one pose. Me. I think I want to do this other one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. Okay. Okay. 